got this legacy thinking that analytics has to be hard and analytics has to you know numbers you're just scared of numbers but the reality is that it's it's really super amazing to to realize how you can with very simple sort of um things you can do so many more wonderful uh, uh things for your business and um so I I enjoyed that process what are the kinds of things that I should look for and and I can give you a couple different tips to just get started regardless of the size of your business how can you actually get started with doing uh, analysis and and I I almost always go look for a a couple of different things so so I'll tell you I'll tell you maybe two or three of my favorites right so the very first thing I want to know if when I go in to uh analyzing any website and I know nothing about the website and and I'm just kind of getting started. So so the first thing you should do is go to the content section on the left hand navigation and click on top landing pages. And I love this report. I adore, I love, I love, I have a crush on this report, you know. Because uh-huh. what it says is I'm looking at the e-commerce website right now on on my screen here and what I'm looking at are the top 10 home pages of the website remember you don't have just one home page people use search people use email people use so many different ways twitter and what not and go deep into your website and most times what 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 people do is ignore the fact that they have multiple home pages and what this report this extremely simple report is showing on the left hand side it shows you the top 10 home pages of your website and on the right hand it shows you the bounce rate of those home pages and i can very quickly see in this case the bounce rate of my number one home page is 40% and it stinks the bounce rate of my next three home pages is 65 55 and 84% basically somebody deserves to die for 84% bounce rate on i mean it's horrid right so what it does is this simple report helps me understand which pages are not doing the the not being able to get a single click from the person who landed on the website this is like a crime against humanity right so <laughs> very quickly i can see okay what pages need my attention that's that's one report right and i can start fixing these reports right away and remember all i've done is spend less than like 5 minutes in my web analytics tool so so that's that's the first one right then the second report that i love uh, reviewing is of course the all beloved keywords report and so you go to traffic sources and then you click on keywords and what it gives me is 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 the top cluster of of 10 i can see as many as i want but the top 10 or normally i look at like top 50 keywords and i try to understand i try to understand not just the visits the visits is you know which keywords are being used the most it's fine it's, it's you know it's like the first date i want to quickly jump to the third date and say you know which which of these keywords are actually um having a higher conversion rate but my favorite metric shona is to look at average order value but i want to know i'm very really selfish i want to know which keywords are delivering the highest average order value and very quickly i can see some keywords that are in the 20 40 dollar range and i i here i see a couple of keywords that are in the 80 100 dollar range and that immediately gets me to focus on saying figuring out which keywords are my bffs so that's that's the second report and what i'm looking at is average order value and the third report this is this is sort of i'm i'm getting you into a bit more complicated area is to actually look at days to purchase days to purchase and it's under e-commerce uh tab on the left on the right hand side click on e-commerce go to days to purchase and and normally i think most most people don't realize that getting people to convert on your website is not a series of one night stands right but the way we approach marketing is just like we go in a bar and hit on a girl it never works I mean okay work sometimes but not all the time okay the, the, and 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 when people come to your website to buy they they mostly most likely won't buy in the first visit and by looking at days to purchase uh, it's a standard report you don't have to do anything to get it what i'm starting to understand is how long does it take for people to convert like how many dates do i have to go before i get to sleep with somebody right and what you want to do is saying rather than get somebody into bed right away you know you're going to wait you're going to look at the data and you're going to make sure that you're marketing and 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 the things that you do on your website do the things that your customers want it's not buy now buy now buy now but you know slow and steady dance so you can get more people to convert so those are just three like simple things that that I can I can do to to just start with web analytics knowing very little about it and yet you can see how powerful the insights are that I can get and I'm literally with every single report 
I'm adding to my bottom line. I'm hyper-focused on my bottom line, yet I want to give my customers something. So there you go.